Breaking news edition of the broadcast from the I-24 News Desk. I'm Hamza Salhout in Tel Aviv. News just in a car ramming attack near the Kochav Yaakov gas station. A Palestinian driver did hit an Israeli pedestrian and then fled the scene. Troops nearby began chasing the assailant where he was then shot and killed. According to the Mada Emergency Service, a 20-year-old woman has been seriously injured in the attack, sustaining head injuries, but is still conscious. Israeli forces are still in place at the scene. Let's bring in Guy Azriel live in the studio with us, I-24 News correspondent. Guy, a lot still developing in this story. Give us some of the details. Right, so we're talking about uh, an incident that took uh, place just one hour ago. We know of a car driven by a Palestinian man who plowed into an Israeli woman who was uh, standing uh, right there. He actually kept on driving with the woman on the hood of the car for some 200 meters uh, before she fell off the car. This as uh, he was running, uh, driving away from the scene. Israeli security forces uh, were on top of him, chasing him for a few miles until they managed to apprehend him. Uh, we know that he was shot and reportedly killed. Now, some information are, is already coming out about the identity of this perpetrator. We're talking about a 45 years old uh, man. His name is Rani Mamoun Faiz Abu Ali. He is reportedly from uh, the uh, village of Bitunia. He's a father of five children. And I think most importantly, he has a work permit to be in Israel. And that is very important because we saw this as well just a week ago, Hamda, you were here covering that serious attack in Ariel. And again, we had uh, um, a Palestinian terrorist back then who had a work permit. He was legally there, uh, was able to work to enter uh, some of those Israeli territories. Um, and he used that, uh, that permit to execute that attack. And that is the case also here. Now, this, of course, comes amid a very volatile year, both in Israel and in the West Bank. The IDF coming out with a lot of information just yesterday about this year, one of the most violent years we've seen in many years here in Israel. Uh, over 500 attacks have been thwarted, 281 uh, terrorist attacks uh, have been noted 30 over 30 Israelis killed and 130 Palestinians killed over this past year. So this wave of terror of violence shows no signs of slowing down. And of course, just last night, three Palestinians were killed as well in two separate incidents in clashes with the IDF. So certainly a very worrying situation for the Israeli security forces with this terror wave that shows no signs of stopping. That's right, Guy. A record number of Palestinians and a record number of Israelis killed this year as Operation Break breaking wave continues in the West Bank. And it's all coming amid the backdrop of the violence, as you mentioned last night, of the three Palestinians killed. Guy Azriel joining us live on all the breaking news updates this afternoon. Thank you.